Welcome to the opening round, and boy, we have a treat for you. Race 3 is an absolutely epic race in the North America event, so you're going to want to stick around and make sure that you do check in for Imola, because it is a spicy race, to say the least. Now, up first is Austria, so we are going for fastest lap, and Claw is coming in instead of True Grit. But I don't have Max Leviathan yet, so there's no point me taking the risk in going for Whirlpool as well. So, first race up in champion is Austria, and we're about to get to it. And the first matchup is a Blue Flags member. So let's see if it's a real player or not. The high-speed circuit of Austria where we're going to need to put in a decent fastest lap to see if we can compete with the max accounts. Maybe a bit of luck along the way will help us. So we qualify P3 and P4, rival in P6 and P10. And for fastest lap, we're going to be wanting to use Sergio Perez on a firework. And we want to do a 3-3-3. Free, free, free. And Hamilton will be doing a 5-4 on the mediums, basically, to get him through the field. So, here we go, AZW's opening round underway in Austria, and it is not a real player by the look of it, but Sergio Perez, with that boost, can't get past Perez. Hamilton back in P4, looking at Verstappen, and Sergio Perez already being a little bit of a pain for us out in the front, but Perez up the inside now takes him, and we cut down, but he's got back through, and we're going to have to just take our time here, because Sergio Perez on the mediums, it's going to start holding us up a little bit. So let's see if we can get through in the first corner. And boy, yes, we can. We inherit the lead of the race on the fire. Firework, the best boost for fastest lap. You've also got boosts like Dead Fast that are also very good to do as well. But we're, but we're hoping, main thing first of all, we've got to score 47 and we're in a pretty good place to do it. As we boost now Sergio Perez through the last corner and he'll be going forward for a fastest lap charge. So lap three is our fastest lap because we couldn't get the lead for lap two. And Lewis Hamilton under pressure from Max Verstappen. Now Max Verstappen does get past, but that's not too bad. We're just still conserving at the minute with Lewis. And Perez comes round and does set a decent lap, we hope indeed. And we'll be coming back into the pits on lap number four. So remember, with downforce, one of the best strategies on this track, medium tyre, you can easily do five laps and the fifth lap being a push lap. And then you can come back in for potentially softs, but I like to maybe play it safe and go for the mediums. As Perez into the pits now for a new set of soft tyres. Hopefully he can get out into the lead. And Lewis Hamilton into P3, and Perez does. So we're just going to try... And keep Perez in the lead. He's got Perez himself flying at him. And what we want to do is have another fastest lap attempt by Perez. So coming round, we're going to start to boost then. So we're going to initiate the lap of a fastest lap attempt. We're going to have some back markers. So this is the problem. This is what you need to do. The fastest lap attempt early on because you get no back markers in the way either. As Lewis Hamilton comes out into P3, going to be attacked by the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. And Max Verstappen gets back ahead. So we've got to get ahead of P3 fairly quickly. Because we need to go out about attacking P number 2. Sergio Perez still on his fast laps. And he's going to go wide. So this is why the bat markers become a pain. And uh, how is Hamilton into P3 as you can see. And look at that. This is why you have to do your lap early. Because Perez, all sorts of issues as he comes into the pits very slowly. And Lewis Hamilton is now into P2 on the mediums. So, nice and easy. Could have gone softs, probably, but hey-ho, we're all good. And Perez comes back out. So, we're going to give Perez one more lap of full boost to see what he can do. And here's Lewis Hamilton on the scene right behind Perez. Basically seeing what he can do on them medium tyres. So coming round. We'll try and go for a fast lap. But we're going to get blocked off very heavily in this race. And already, look, you can see out the last corner. Blocked. 
So it looks like our fastest lap is already set. But most importantly, if we get a fastest lap, we've got to score 47 points. And this time we are going to, as we come around the last section of the race. And Sergio Perez will take a fine victory here in Austria for Red Bull. And as a WF on racing, Lewis Hamilton in second. And that is 47 points. So in race two, similar similar team score, not quite the, exactly the same, but not far off. And it's everybody's favourite, Canada and Montreal, where dreams are made of and dreams are also shattered. How many of you have put in a good weekend only for Canada to come and bite you right in the bottom? But we've got a good start, P3 and P4, and we've also got wets, so... This should be, hopefully, a formality. And we're going to use our tune-in from the pit pass, which is an absolutely amazing boost if you haven't used it already. And hopefully, we're going to fly off the start and put this to bed early, because Perez is dangerous with that 10% boost this weekend. So, here we go. Perez looking past Perez already. Brilliant move. Lewis Hamilton round the outside of Max Verstappen into P3 and now sets his sights on Sergio Perez. Perez got cold tyres. Lewis Hamilton warmed up quickly and Lewis Hamilton straight past him holds on down the little bit of section there and we are through into P1 and P2 already here in Canada. And that is a big sigh of relief that I can let off because we are not potentially in for any dodgy races. With Canada, it's very very favourable to get the moves done early because when you come to lap AI later on, if you're following another car, they will always take the overtaking line and make you struggle to overtake. But in this case, we are absolutely fine. And look how the gap Sergio Perez on that tuning already has an eight second gap over P3. What it's a fantastic boost, literally the best. And there's a crash live brought to you there. And it's Kevin Magnussen in to the wall. Similar place where many, many drivers have been caught before. Got it wrong through the chicane. And sadly, we'll be taking an early bath in Canada. And we've got the lovely safety car to cart us round very, very slowly. But we're going to take advantage of an early pit stop. Because by the time we complete lap four behind the safety car, it'll be four laps and we're just going to play it safe. We don't need to do anything stupid. So we're going to bring both drivers into the pits. And Hamilton out. We can see the red ball of Perez just passing by now. Can we keep P2? No, we can't. But we are in P1 and P3. And we don't have to make another pit stop again. Perez will have to make a pit stop. So I'm not going to boost him at all until potentially needed and Perez eagerly waiting this restart behind the safety car people trying to get confetti on the track it's making visibility a bit tough but old Bert in the safety car needing to speed up because we're struggling here and everyone is pretty much packed up now into the straight so medium boost goes on and it's about to get interesting as we go racing again in Montreal, Perez and Lewis Hamilton have been caught napping off the start. And Lewis Hamilton is down into P4, but we aren't going to take any chances just yet because they are all going to slowly pit ahead of us and release Lewis Hamilton back into second place. We could have boosted from the start and kept third place, but it doesn't really matter. So Perez, excess tyres and fuel we can push him a little bit and Lewis Hamilton will the AI be coming in this lap they surely will do and we'll start to boost him very shortly as well but Perez absolutely flying at the minute and you can see how good that tune in we'll see what sort of lap he puts in it's going to be a probably a 24 25 second lap here and that tune in is absolutely brilliant there he goes across the line and that was a fantastic little lap there so, we're about to start lap 7. No pit stops from anybody apart from us yet. 
and Lewis Hamilton regains second place. And what looked like a scary third place was always under control. And Sergio Perez and Lewis Hamilton with just one and a half laps to go to bring this home. The best wet boosts on the game selected, Tune-In and Hex, absolutely perfect. If you've got a wet race, you want to be using pretty much them too if you want to score big points. And we're in to lap eight. Perez getting through the field now because they all pitted at the same time. So it is absolutely chock-a-block out there. But Perez making light work as if they weren't there. And he's already in lapping P11. And so is Hamilton on that hex. But Sergio Perez, two out of two, wins in Canada. And Lewis Hamilton through as well for 23 points. And that is Canada avoided. And that is Canada with a beautiful 47 points. Now, because of the time we're racing here, guys, bit of a free show for you. We've got a spin of a daily spin that we can do just to give you a bit of something different. And we do get, amazingly, two books to add to our uh, to our catalogue of books we already have. And then, as a treat, I'm going to show you our asset trading for the day. And as we click this, it's glitched a little bit. So let's let's throw back out there and go back in. Asset trading to come. And what can we get in the asset trading? We were on to epics. That's all we've got left. We trade Lance Stroll. And we potentially get Flux, Leclerc or Norris. And we've got to go with Lando Norris into the 300s now. So only 95 to go. For Lando Norris. So race number three. I told you to keep an eye out on this one. When I first started the video. And you are now about to see why. We're set to race in Imola. Against a human. Double boosted rival. And where do we start? We're up against it on team score. So this is not a match in our favour. At all. But let's see where we can qualify. And it's going to be on the back foot P4 and P6. So, looking at the boosts. Now, predominantly a corner track now. It used to be basically for speed because of that straight. But it has merged into more of a corner in track. So you can either take the corners and be strong. Or you can take the straight and be fast down the straight. Depending on where you start. But we're going to split the strategy. And we're going to go... A 3-3-2 three, three, with Perez and a 4-4 four, four with Lewis Hamilton. And hopefully we can jump the rival and do damage limitation. But it's going to be tough from where we are. So lights out. Away we go. Double boosted rival. Can we do anything special? And Perez already up to P2. Lewis Hamilton in to P3. So we've already got a decent start to proceedings here. And luckily the rival... Second driver got a very slow start. Now, 35 degrees track temperature. It is like a sauna. The drivers are going to be losing a lot of sweat in that. And we're going to hopefully keep our cool. And, well, we're going to go for 47 points. It's going to be tough. As suddenly the driver gets through very easily there. And Lewis Hamilton. I mean, Perez is checked out up front early for the rival. So... This is interesting. The rival's going to pit this lap already. And we've got Perez in P2. And we're going to bring him a little closer. So the rival Perez is in the pits. Very early stop doing a 2-3-3 three, three then by the look of it. And we do actually get back into the lead. And his driver moves back to P3. And we've got a safety car. We have a safety car here in Imola. So what does this call for? This calls for some risky strategy because we're up against it. The chances are we score 45 points here based on pre-pit stop. So I'm going to try something very, very not done before. I'm going to go four laps on the hard and I'm going to be hanging on right at the end. So this is going to be carnage. But I feel like it's my only chance to try and eke out a 47 points. And the rival double stacking, which we won't be doing. We do get Perez back out into the lead, though. Now, there is a soft and a hard tyre difference here. So we're going to be a sitting duck on the restart. 
But we've got enough fuel. Have we got enough tyres to last out what will be four laps to go when we cross the line? Oh, it's going to be tight. It is going to be tight. Let's see what we could do. And we probably needed a dead fast on Perez. That would have been probably better because we had the speed and the management of the tyres. But instead, it's Kawhi and Street Shark to do the work. I know Lewis Hamilton can get four laps with the Street Shark on the hard. But we're already eking in to that four laps as we move through with the safety car. So, very different strategies. Three to five laps for Perez on the hard. So this is going to be... I don't think Perez is going to hold on, but I've committed. I've committed in the moment to hard tyres. And we're about to get racing. Can we keep the rival behind for at least a corner or two and slow him up? We're boosting and we're off down the straight. And Max Verstappen looking at Sergio Perez. And we can't hold off. That was so quick. And we couldn't hold on to P1. I'd like to hold on to P1 just a little bit. So I didn't have to fully boost. But can we keep in touch with Max Verstappen? He's only going to be doing two laps. P3 is only going to be doing three laps. And we'll pit again. So it's not over yet. As we come down the straight. And Sergio Perez sitting P2. And we, we're not going to last, I don't think, on tyres. This is going to be, oh, this is going to be painful at the end. And I've committed. I can't pit now. Can we hold on, guys? Can we hold on? As Perez comes round. And we're on 40%. We're right on five laps of the hard as Verstappen pits. Lewis Hamilton continues. The weather, 36 degrees. It's getting hotter as well. This is not going to help our tyre management. If it was cooler, this would be job done, I think. But fourth place now for the rival on the soft tyres. They're going to be flying 37 degrees. This is all against us in Imola. And already you can see Perez's tyres changed down to 18%. Lewis Hamilton had 47% across the line last time round. He's now got 16. And now the track starts to get cooler. Oh, this is throwing it up. And now the soft tyres of Max Verstappen are approaching. We can't get to the end on these tyres. Can Lewis Hamilton hold Max Verstappen a little bit at bay? Just a little bit. This is so crucial. Oh, he's took a wide line. We're not going to make it. He goes through, but can we keep Perez out of tyres? Sergio Perez holds on for P1. Lewis Hamilton, P3. Wow, what an end to the race. 46 points. Wow, what a race indeed. As my heart starts to slow down from beating so fast. Oh, what an edge of the racing seat stuff that was. Big shout out to the guy as well for providing an absolutely incredible race. And we seem to have one of these incredible races every single weekend. So, brilliant action. I'd rather get a bot and get 47 points. But don't get me wrong, I live for them races. It keeps me fun. Keeps me going. And we are in for race four, Mexico City. And we're going for Kawhi on Perez doing a 4-4. And also Lumberjack on a 4-4 as well. And we are against a Blue Jags member here in Toto Wolf. Mm. And is it a real player? We're about to find out, but they start P10, P11. And we are lights out, and it is a real player. So P10, P11, they start. Perez takes the lead off the first corner, and so does Lewis Hamilton into P2. So a great start, especially when we've got a rival who is human. So we'll be making up more places than the bot. So this is not necessarily over. We're not going to count them chickens laying eggs anytime soon. So we do need to just take a step back and be ready for anything that comes up later on in this race. And we are absolutely fine at the moment. P1, P2. And obviously with the boosts, when you got to think about it, this straight is amazing to overtake on. If you've got a speed boost with overtaking, like Lumberjack, like probably Deadfast would be good as well because of speed. 
you can absolutely fly down the straight, same with firework. Whereas Kawhi won't be as quick down the straight, but it will be very powerful through the corners. So it's really just finding a balance as to what you want to use when it comes to boosts. If you're starting off in the back of the field or towards the back, I definitely recommend something that you can overtake on down the straight. So a speed type boost. Whereas if you're at the front, corner in will do you absolutely fine so we're already on to lap four with Sergio Perez and as always we're just going to do a 4-4 with the mediums we're not going to risk any sauce we don't need to and then it'll be full boost all the way to the end and Perez taking some wide lines because he's coming up to the back markers now as well and we are coming into the pits with Sergio and K-Mag holds us up a little bit as well. But we're in. So Perez makes his stop. And it's a double stack. Quick pit stop round. 3.34 seconds for Sergio Perez. What about Lewis Hamilton? 3.35. Super consistent pit stops. And Lewis Hamilton is back out into P3. So we're just going to keep boosting. If a safety car comes back out, we don't need to pit. That is fundamentally key. We're already thinking ahead. We don't have to pit. And we can just see this out to the end. We've got the rival in front of us. Made an early pit stop for the hard tyres. So let's see if we can catch the rival. And tell you what, Lewis Hamilton very slow around the last corner there. But he is now in to P2. And Perez is catching the rival as well on that hard. Will be considerably slower using the firework boost. So let's give the rival a bit of pain from back markers. And yes, Perez soon passed him now. Takes some wide lines, projects himself off the straight. And you'll see how good that firework is. What's what I told you guys, down the straight, firework is incredible. Anything with speed and overtake will be fantastic. But for us, back markers, they'll move out of the way. And that gives you an example. We've got a slower car on a hard tyre and they absolutely flew past us down the straight. So make of that what you will. But if you need overtaking get on a speed and overtaking boost that's for sure as Perez starts the last lap of opening round that you'll get to see and so does Lewis Hamilton and the rival right behind us as the rival double lapped fighting for that P7 spot doesn't help that we're right in the mix of it either as we follow Hamilton through but it is a great race by the rival they're doing pretty well from what we can see, especially considering where they started. But Sergio Perez wins in Mexico. Lewis Hamilton takes second place. 47 points is the return number for us after the 46 last time out. So it is back to winning ways. One point dropped in the first four races, which sadly will mean that we probably won't get a podium spot this weekend. We have to be scoring max points. We need the look of matchmaking. We need the look of the safety cars as well. But in terms of matchmaking, it wasn't there this weekend. But we had fun doing it at the same time. 47 points against the Blue Jags player. We will take that all day long as we come back to see where that currently sits us off the four races. And four races done, 54th, and we sit 187 points. So 47, 47, a 46 in race three against a human boosted rival, and then 47 points in the last one. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed a fantastic race three, and I hope to see you in the very next one.